This morning on today's Home, transforming your outdoor space into an oasis. Today, contributor and home builder Lou Manfredini is here to show us some upgrades that can burst, uh, actually boost the curb appeal of your home. Lou, yeah, good to see it you. As well. Burst it, nice bust to see it you. out. Good morning. You know, when you're driving by and you see somebody's house, or and you go, man, why can't I do that? Right. You say there's some simple things you can do. Little things. If you've got a little blank window like this that doesn't quite look like got anything, nothing going on there. You can do a quick addition over here with some beautiful flower boxes mm -hmm. and some shutters. Now the flower boxes, the one, the wooden ones, they, they, they rent you a lot. They, they do, down. and, and I've built them time and time again, and I'm replacing them every 45 years. These are PVC window block mm -hmm. boxes that is cellular PVC, looks like wood, will not rot. Mm -hmm. uh, the right products makes this. The flowerandwindowbox.com is a company that provided and this. And the other side a, a benefit, I would think, is that they're a little lighter, aren't they? They actually are not that heavy, and they can make them, Al, from 30 inches to as long as 10 feet. Feet, wow. And they have many different styles. And the beauty part is once you install them, you're done. Uh -huh. Shutters are another thing. This now is what we had it on our house. They, right. were, they were attached to the thing. These are actually functional shutters. These are right? functional shutters. They don't have to be, but these are. This is from a company called Southern Shutter. You can customize them. Real western red cedar. You've got mm -hmm. a selection there down low where there's different kinds you can put. And these are the little things you can do mm -hmm. to add to the front look of your home. Besides being uh, uh, pretty, are they functional? Absolutely what are functional. They, do they help like, cut down on, on cut down on sunlight right. coming in. If you've got a, a spot of the house, people say I have a southern exposure, eastern exposure. You can close them on mm -hmm. those days when it's really sunny. If they're first floor, even second floor. Right now, these I've seen these pergolas. Another energy saving thing. Uh -huh. Not only are they beautiful, but this pergola here is uh, from a company called uh, Shade Tree Canopies. Right. They, this is a PVC unit too. These are aluminum braces up top, uh -huh. PVC wrap, and then they've got these shades uh -huh. that you can pull over uh -huh. on those sunny days that can cut the sunlight that braces and comes out to your home. Now, do you, do you, did somebody come and install these or can you put these up yourself? You can do them yourself. This also can be installed professionally. This unit, Al, probably costs somewhere in the neighborhoods about $6,000 right. installed. Uh -huh. They also make it in cedar. They also mm -hmm. make it in, in wood products. But once this is on, you could either mount it as part of a patio or over a deck also. Oh, very cool. So it's a really, and it's an added value proposition. Big problem in a lot of people's backyards, cracked concrete. Yeah. And, and so first you gotta you know get that stuff up, but then what do you replace it with? Well, I'm a huge fan of segmental paving. The reason segmental is segmental paving. Segmental paving. This is you know the the Romans have this. Uh -huh. I, I talk about it on the on the Today Show website. There are still roads in Rome that are made from uh, um, paving stones. Mm -hmm. This is from a company called Cambridge Paving Stones. They can create anything. I mean, they're a distributor, but the people that install it, what's nice about this stuff from a maintenance standpoint is that if you ever get a little settling, mm -hmm. a few bricks can come up, you can put some sand down and replace it and put it back. Now, this is an example of an outdoor living area, which right. is very popular. Their tactical advantage, what they do when they build their paving stones is they put this thing in it called Armatech. It's part of the manufacturer that keeps the color and the look of it mm -hmm. for years to come. One of the, the things that happened when the product first came out, they said, oh, it's maintenance free. But what happened was it started to look bad over the years. And so by putting this inside there and adding it to the manufacturing process, mm -hmm. it looks great. How difficult is it to do it yourself? It, you need a really good breakfast <laughs> because it, this is a, a hard work. It can be done. Just like anything, though, uh, when you're talking about patios, it's in the base. It's what you do that you don't see underneath right. that's most important. But this is an added value proposition, anywhere from 10 to $12 a square foot. And from a resale perspective, when you go to sell that, when our real estate market finally bounces back, right. and people are coming in there looking to say, hey, you've got a beautiful brick patio, it is going to add real value to your home. Lou Manfredini, thank you so much. Good seeing you. All right, more information, check out our website at todayshow.com. And coming up next, today's kitchen. How about a little chowder on a nice chilly spring day? But first, this is Today on NBC.